Corral. Today is November the 4th, 2021. And tomorrow is Friday. Um, Saturday I'll be going hunting bow and arrow. There's going to be a potluck meal and I've decided to cook raccoon. So, just want to give a little tutorial, I guess, about how I'm going to do this for camp tomorrow. So, stay tuned. Okay, so what we have here, hopefully when I turn this camera, it's not going to be funny so that I have to flip it. But we've got the two back legs of the raccoon, and then we have the two front legs. I'm going to season it with Montreal because I think that Montreal tastes pretty good on wild game, especially those that we treat like beef. So they were seasoned with Montreal. The last time we made the raccoon, we did the whole body and it became too salty. So, as you can see, I'm pretty rough with my seasoning. <laughs> Just a very light, but kind of even. I don't know, not too much. Again, this is my first tutorial as far as cooking is concerned, and I just wanted to show some wild game because when I search for videos on how to do wild game, there's not many. So, we've got the two back legs, the two front legs, and good old Montreal steak seasoning. But not too much because it can be too peppery. So... We put them in our crock pot, and basically all I did was just spray the crock pot with Pam. Well, non-cooking spray. I'm going to pour a bag of carrots. I think I cut up maybe eight red potatoes and a medium onion right over top of it. So I'm not going to season the vegetables because they're going to cook with the raccoon. We're going to put this on low in the crock pot for about maybe six to eight hours. Um, I like my meat on the bottom so that my vegetables don't get too mushy. And then that way if I decide I want to make a gravy, it is less vegetable mush and more juices from the meat. So I'll see you in about six to eight. One more thing, I'm going to add a dollop of butter. I kind of put butter on a lot of things, but I don't know. It gives you the right amount of fat, and it's pretty flavorful. So I'll see you in six to eight. Good morning, folks. So what we've done is cooked the raccoon, the carrots, the potatoes, the onions, in the crock pot for a total of maybe, hmm, eight hours so because I put my vegetables on the top they don't get too mushy it gives it time to just kind of do what it's supposed to do so in pulling the meat as you can see it's very tender what you want is for bones to slide right off as you can see I'm pulling out clean bones and just putting them to the side and again this was just front legs and back legs bones right off again this is my first cooking tutorial but I plan to show you guys a lot of wild game because I do a lot of cooking of that more than you know the average stuff so basically you're just going through and you want to pull these bones right off because when we go to add the gravy you don't want to have to fight with that now if this was the full body you would get the same effect I probably would have pulled all the vegetables out and just focused on the meat but as you see as you're just turning it over you come across bones which just slide off so these are all the bones from the front 
legs and the back legs. And as you see, they are clean. All the meat is off. What I've done is transferred all the meat and vegetables to a Ziploc bag. Because again, like I said, I'm going to camp. And we will do the gravy and the meat there over a campfire. I don't want to add them too soon. So I'm just doing some regular old gravy. Um, I cheated. Instant gravy, cup of water, pack of gravy. I'll put that in the Ziploc bag as well. And then I'll put them over the campfire and I'll let you guys see it. So we've mixed our raccoon, potatoes and carrots and onions and gravy together. And it's just going to heat up over the campfire while we stay warm. So that is the end of this tutorial of how to cook raccoon in a soup pot roast manner. I hope you enjoy.